I think the Indiana Fever may be a serious threat, no joke, like a dangerous team to not only, you know, be a tough out in the playoffs, but to win playoff series. The, the way that they're playing right now, you know, they were missing a few things and one of them may have been filled against the Seattle Storm. Again, don't want to get carried away, but the shooting of Lexi Hull would change everything. If she can consistently hit outside shots, that changes the entire equation because the Fever had been missing consistent production from the 3 and D spot all season long. Hull had provided energy and hustle, but knocking down those threes makes it very difficult to deal with the Fever because the rest of the foundation is so strong. Kelsey Mitchell is a bona fide bucket. She proved it again. Her and Clark are the, the most explosive backcourt in the league. Aaliyah Boston is such an intelligent player. With, with her and Clark in the, the two-person game, it's so difficult to deal with because they both make great um, decisions with the basketball. Boston had a career-high eight assists in this game. And then obviously, Caitlin Clark breaks the rookie assist record. Um, she's going to break the single season assist record. She started hitting the mid range. She started taking floaters. She was taking it to the cup. Um, so even though she struggled from three early, that all around game is really coming into play. And she's a, as effective as anyone it, with the, the ball in her hands. So you, you take all that into consideration, they're going to be tough. They're going to be tough. And, you know, the, the Lexi Hull thing was not not recognized by Clark after the game. I know they're friends, but she had this to say about her teammate. Yeah, I mean, first of all, to get a win in front of anyone is great. To get a win in front of my grandma who came all the way from Spokane and my sister. Shout out Cheryl. Yeah, let's go grandma Cheryl. Um, and my sister came from Austin. It's amazing. And to have them, you know, courtside was super cool, too. So really good. Really good feeling tonight. Yeah, let me saw you tweeted that you're a Lexi Hull fan now. Now, what can you say about the performance you had? Tweet that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my account will solely be about Lexi. If you want to follow, I'm going to change the bio to the Lexi Hull fan page. So, yeah. And she did tweet, this is a Lexi Hull fan account now. Um, and, and obviously, you know, they have a friendship going on there. But, but also, Caitlin is, you know, probably happy in the way that I was happy to see what Lexi Hull did out on the floor. That, that's two wins against two winning teams since coming back from the break. That's now five wins in a row against teams over 500 for the Indiana Fever. And, and I, I was mentioning some of what, what I was talking about before, but Clark is, is starting to take these mid-range shots out on the floor, which is going to change everything. She had a floater in this one. I've been harping on the floater all year. She was clearly in the lab during the break, like Kevin Garnett pointed out. I don't know if you saw Kevin Garnett's um, post, but he said maybe that Olympic break, was the adjustment to the WNBA uh, offseason kind of for Clark that that rookies don't really get in the W because they go straight from college. And, and Clark certainly looks like she's worked on specific aspects of her game um, during that time off, during that time off. And it, it wound up not being close down the stretch, which led to, to something going on with Christy Sides and the – the team, um, the the storm. There was some sort of interaction with the coaching staff and some of the players on the the storm. There, I don't know exactly what happened. It must have had I don't know it was, who was on the floor at the end of the game because she still had some of her top players on the floor and they were whining about getting beat. I I don't know. Um, I'm sure we'll we'll hear more about that in the the post game there, but it didn't seem like a, a happy discussion. And this will be one of those times where Fever fans are actually going to defend Christie's sides, right? Going to defend Christie's sides. And when you're looking at the Fever now and, and weaknesses, it's starting to get fewer and far between. I mean, one weakness is how they play when Clark is not on the floor. Um, Erica Wheeler is their only other really backup ball handler out there. And she um, just doesn't really get it done. Uh, no offense, <laughs> yeah, but th that's a, a small thing, right? As far as the, you know, the, the rest, you, you, I, I mentioned Boston and Kelsey Mitchell really does deserve her flowers. I think, you know, I saw one of these accounts make fun of her for missing a layup early in the game. And yeah, the, the fever blew some Caitlin Clark passes early in the year, but Kelsey has played way too well 
to be clowned about any individual play because she has hit big shots all year, all season. And she, like Clark, is fast, right? Clark pushes the pace, and, and Kelsey can really run out there. Um, she's one of the faster players in the league out of the backcourt as well. So, I mean, nothing but positive signs for the Indiana Fever right now. And this is Lexi Hull and Kelsey Mitchell, the first duo in Fever history to each record 20-plus points and five-plus three-pointers made in the, the game. And then, of course, you know, there's just the, the highlights of the court vision that Clark has out there. She breaks the – I barely even mentioned the assist record, right? Tisha Panichero congratulated her for that, but I barely even mentioned it because all the other stuff that went on for the fever. But, I mean, like, look at some of the, the highlights here. Stuff is just different and special, what Caitlin is able to do. That is sick. That is just sick, that get-ahead pass. From, from Caitlin Clark. As far as what uh, Tisha Penichero had to say, the Fever posted that out. Let me find that clip of her congratulating Caitlin Clark because that is certainly um, worthy of being acknowledged in the moment as we're praising Lexi Hull and Kelsey Mitchell, deservedly so. Um, you know, it almost feels regular for Caitlin Clark to dominate a game like that. It's it's no longer, you know, a a rarity or even something that feels like, oh, this needs to be noted. <laughs> right? Like that's what it is. That's what, what Caitlin Clark does now. That's that's the kind of player that she is. Here is um Tisha Pan Tisha Panichero, uh to the message she recorded to Caitlin Clark. Hey Caitlin, Tisha here. Congratulations. A record that stood since 1998, and you come here and you break it. Super proud of you. I know the work that you put in. A lot of people always talked about your shooting. I was always mesmerized about your passing, your court vision, and how you make your teammates better. So this record is in great hands, and continue to do what you do. Continue to elevate your game and the women's game and the WNBA. Congratulations. Super proud of you. So a, a nice message from, from Tisha there, but um, as, you know, she uh, had nice things to say and, and was happy to see uh, Caitlin Clark break her record. Any WNBA team that's seeing the Indiana Fever on the other side of the scouting report, whether it's in the, the regular season or the playoffs, is, is not going to be happy. Uh, because the goal of simply making the playoffs for the Fever is starting to look a wee bit conservative because they're starting to look like a WNBA powerhouse.